Good morning and praise the Lord. Reverend Lydia coming to us with the word of the Lord. We thank God for today. We thank God for life. And we thank God for his protection and mercies that are new every morning. Today, I want us to talk about it is by grace. The grace of God. Grace is undeserved favor of God. Unmerited favor. Grace is a gift of God's mercy and love towards us. John Wesley states grace or views grace as a beggar covered with dirt and rags but at the same time covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, accepted and received no matter the condition. The grace of God is all we need to sustain us through life. The grace of God gives to us forgiveness. Grace indeed is the love of God shown to the unlovable, the peace of God given to the restless. We all need the grace of God. The grace of God frees us and enables us to come boldly before him. That same grace enables us to stand. Only by grace can we come. Only by grace can we stand. Shall we please read Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmen, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. The word of the Lord. The grace of God has given to us the salvation. It is by grace that we are saved. Salvation is a free gift to each one of us. We did not deserve it, but because of grace, we have received it. And friends, this salvation is available to anyone and everyone. It is not limited to a few. We have done nothing to deserve this gift, but it has been freely given to us by this God who loves us unconditionally. Our salvation is not by human effort. It was planned by God, executed by his son Jesus Christ, and made possible for us by God, the Holy Spirit, who lives in us. We were all lost in sin, just like many are still lost in their sin. And indeed, Thinking or reflecting back on how we were. Indeed, we were all non deserving. We were ashamed and hopeless in our sinful situation before the grace of God reached out to us. And I know that many are still lost and still held in their sin and they don't feel free at all because they have not yet embraced the forgiveness and grace of God. We pray that everyone we know, everyone who is dear to us, will receive this free gift of grace. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we who are loved unconditionally, we who live by grace, we are called to demonstrate that same grace towards each other. We are called to love each other. We are called to show mercy and kindness towards his people. 
And this is only possible when we live by faith and walk in the freedom that we have in Christ Jesus. Reflecting on the fact that no one of us was and is deserving of his unconditional love. And therefore he's calling us as well to show that same unconditional love to his people. We are called to live and to work for God. Because we are created in his image. We are forgiven by him, transformed by him, and saved by grace. We are to work for God, show gratitude to everyone. For God is calling us to live by grace. And when we do that, then we shall be fruitful, bearing fruit that will last. The more we live in grace, the more we show others and invite many to this saving grace. As the Samaritan woman, when she encountered Jesus Christ, we talked about her yesterday. When she encountered Jesus Christ, she did not keep the good news to herself, but she went to all the people in her community and invited them to this life-giving man, invited them to the source of life. So we who, have, who are experiencing the grace of God, God is calling us to invite as many as possible to the free giving, uh, the freedom that is found in Christ Jesus, to the source of life. We are to invite as many. It is only by grace can we come. We are not deserving of God's forgiveness, but he has loved us and he has forgiven us of our many sins. May God give us the grace to freely love and freely forgive his people. It is by grace. Heavenly Father, we thank you for showering your unmerited favor, undeserved favor upon each one of us. For it is by grace that we can come. It is by grace that we are saved. It is by grace that we can stand. Help us to live in that grace each day. And help us to show mercy and grace to the people around us. Because we all know that we were not deserving. And we are confident that as we live by grace, then we shall be able to show mercy and grace to your people. We surrender all to you. If you can use anyone and anything, please use us to the glory of your name. Cause us to draw many to this unmerited favor that they may experience the acceptance and the freedom we have in you. We thank you for choosing us and for loving us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord sustain you. And may the grace of God keep you now and forever. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.